Well, a new report out from the CDC finds the mental health crisis is growing at record levels and it's hitting teenage girls especially hard. Jennifer Hoff is here to break down the data and what adults should be looking out for. Jennifer? Julie, the results are from the 2021 Youth Risk Behavior Survey, which includes responses from more than 17,000 U.S. high schoolers. And one of the most startling statistics here is that 57% of teenage girls said that they felt persistently hopeless. That's the highest rate in a decade. And also 30% said that they actually consider dying by suicide. That's a number that's gone up 60% in just 10 years. Experts say it is critical to normalize conversations about mental health. And that's just one way that one local organization is helping put them on a path to hope. A new CDC report shows that teen girls especially are reporting high levels of sadness and sexual violence. Our kids need our help now. The survey has been conducted every other year for three decades and mimics the latest results from Treehouse, an organization creating safe spaces for teenagers at more than 40 sites across the country, including one in St. Louis Park. I think often people don't really need you to fix their problems. They need you to sit in it with them for a little bit and that's kind of what Treehouse gets to do. It. Mandy Betlock is a longtime coach and Beulah's mentor for about four years. She's so sweet. She's so down to earth. Thanks, Pew. You're just you, and I love you for you. Love you too. Treehouse also offers support groups that help serve 3,000 teens every year, nearly half of whom report experiencing serious bouts of hopelessness. A lot of people like shut out their feelings because there's not a lot of like support. It's okay to let it go sometimes. Hopelessness can look like bullying, self-harm, or isolation. In fact, that CDC report finds more than 40% of teens said they couldn't do regular activities. Betlock says there are other red flags like changes in eating or sleeping habits. She also says teens should have the tools to handle a crisis before it begins and to build strong relationships along the way. But I think that we have to like all own a piece of it and we don't all have to own a big piece of it. Hope is abounding. It's out there, um, but sometimes we have to slow down to find it. Slow down. It's good advice, I think, for everybody. That survey, by the way, it's a long one, 88 pages, but we posted a link to it if you're interested in all of its other findings. As for Treehouse, there are several ways to get involved, from tutoring to serving meals. And if you're a teenager, maybe looking for a little help or some support, you can also just show up to some of their programs all of which we have put on care11.com. Julian, I know you've done a lot of work with them and it's just a great organization. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the work they're doing. Thanks so much, Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Well, if you or someone you love is struggling, there is help out there and it's effective. You can call or text 988 anytime to be connected to a trained counselor.